Hello everyone, I'm Svetlin Naku from SoftUni and I'm here for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In today's episode, I will make a very brief overview of databases in programming, types of databases, tables, collections and relationships, data roles and data fields, and the SQL language for querying and manipulating data. Database systems can be relational or SQL-based databases and non-relational NoSQL databases. Relational databases such as MySQL and PostgreSQL hold data in tables and use the SQL query language to look up in the data and modify the data. Non-relational databases such as MongoDB and IndexedDB hold collections of documents and provide an API and query language to access and modify the data. In this lesson, I will explain the concept of database management systems, TBMS, and I will demonstrate the Web SQL technology which implements a relational database in the modern web browsers. Let's start. Databases hold and manage data in the backend systems. Almost all software use a database in some form. The data in database systems is organized in tables or holding rows or collections holding objects or documents, key value pairs or other structures. The software which manages, retrieves and manipulates the data in a database is called TBMS, Database Management system. Examples of DBMS systems are MySQL, MongoDB, Redis, Azure Cosmos DB, PostgreSQL, MS SQL Server, SQLite, Elasticsearch and thousands more. DBMS systems are responsible for data definition, creating and deleting databases, creating and modifying collections, tables or other sets of data records or documents and defining their structure, fields and data format. Data retrieval, retrieving data, querying data, searching data, filtering data, extracting data, combining data, aggregating data, data manipulation, inserting new data, modifying existing data, deleting existing data, and data administration. Users, roles and access control, concurrency control, monitoring, replication, backend and recovery and others. Modern database systems use a DPMS, modern software systems use a DPMS system to manage data instead of implementing the data management internally. Relational databases organize data in tables and data roles. For example, an e-commerce system uh, software could have a table holding the products. Each table row could hold product ID, product name, description, vendor and price. Some tables in the DBMS system maintain relationships between them. For example, one vendor has many related products and each product has a vendor. This is called one to many relationship. In relational database says the SQL language is used to query and modify data. SQL, Structured Query Language, is standard database query and manipulation language. It supports simple and more complex commands such as select name uh, and price from products. The software packages which manage relational databases is called RDBMS, Relational Database Management Systems. 
Examples of RGBMS systems are MySQL, PostgreSQL, MSQL Server, uh, Oracle Database, and WebSQL in the HTML5 platform. We shall learn more about databases and SQL in the database modules and courses in the end-to-end -end software engineering training program at SoftUni. NoSQL databases uh, hold collections of documents or key value pairs. Uh, document databases like MongoDB uh, manage collections of documents such as products or vendors where each document has a set of properties like name, price and description. Document databases uh, support uh, retrieving and querying document collections and creating, modifying and deleting documents. Examples of document bases, based NoSQL databases are MongoDB uh, and IndexedDB in the HTML5 platform. Key value pair databases uh, such as Redis and Amazon DynamoDB store keys mapped to values. These key value pair structures are also known as dictionaries. They support fast search by key operation, but storing corrections of data is less flexible. Key value data storage systems are good for organizing simple data. For example, a phone book can be stored in a key value store. Database systems are important component of most modern software systems and therefore software engineers must have, must have at least basic database skills. To illustrate the concept of a database systems, we shall take an example. WebSQL is a relational database, RDBMS, uh, embedded in modern web browsers. WebSQL is part of the HTML5 platform, which is used to build front-end apps using HTML plus CSS plus JavaScript. It is fully functional RDBMS system, which runs in the client side, in the web browser of internet users. Web front-end developers can use WebSQL to store data in structured format as database tables with relationships. The database is stored in the web browser, just like cookies and cached images are stored in the laptops and smartphones of internet users. Each web app could create and manipulate a local SQL database. Let's see this live example of web SQL. We open the live demo uh, link uh, HTTPS w3schools.com slash SQL. This is a free tutorial for SQL databases uh, available in internet. We click the try it yourself button. It opens a comment window uh, where we can type SQL comments and execute they, them. The default comment is select asterisk from customers. Let's see, let's execute it. We press run SQL button and the result is a table holding records. We can modify the SQL query like this for, for example, select country, comma, city from customers. And we run it. The result consists of the columns country and city from the table customers. We can also display the products table by a similar SQL query. Select asterisk from products.
we can recall that in relational databases theta is structured as tables. It holds, uh, click the products. Uh, okay, let's see the tables in our local Web SQL database. We press F12 and we click application, the application tab, and choose Web SQL and open it. We can browse the tables and there data rows. This is an example of relational database tables and relationships between them. Click on the products table. It holds product names, um, also prices and other data about the products. The interesting point here is the supplier ID column. It holds relationships to the supplier table. Let's take the product Tofu. Tofu. One fourteen. It has supplier ID equals to six. Which is this supplier? We can check the table suppliers. It is Mayumi's from Osaka, Japan. I hope you now have an idea what is a database, what is a table, and relationship with another table and how data is organized in databases. We shall learn more about databases in the database modules and training courses at SoftUni. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softunit.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free, so join now, softuni.org.